Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will be looking at the top five reasons why every educator and a student should try Microsoft Edge browser. In this session, I will be covering how to change the ambience, customize the ambience, privacy and security, speed and performance, PDF annotations, and also the most highlighted feature of the Edge browser, which is the immersive reader. So without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first step in using our Edge browser is to go ahead and download one. So you can click Edge browser in any of your search engines. And here I have download Microsoft Edge browser. I'm going to go ahead and click on this link. I'll leave this link in the description box below. And let me scroll all the way down. And here you have an option to download for Windows or for Mac users. Let's go ahead and do that. Once the installation process is complete, let's go ahead and open up the browser. I'm going to double click. And here I have my browser. I have logged into my Office 365 account. And here, when I click on these three nine matrices type icon here, it's an app launcher. When I click on it, as you can see, I have my Outlook. I have my OneDrive, Word, Excel. So it's like a one-stop shop for you. The first reason I love using the Edge browser is the flexibility of customizing the ambience and the user interface. Here I am on my Edge browser. As you can see, it's nice, plain, clean. On the left-hand side, I have a toggle switch where I can change my tabs from horizontal to vertical. If I'm teaching a class and I don't want my students to see what tabs I'm browsing, one click of a button changes from horizontal to vertical and gives them as less information as possible. And here I have my quick links. This little arrow lets me expand and collapse my quick links. I even have an option to completely disable it. All the way in the bottom, I have my Office 365, my feed. I can personalize it. If you are an educator who's teaching politics or science and you want to have those feeds on your browser, you simply click on the personalize button and check the ones that you want. My most favorite is the settings. So let's go all the way to the right hand corner, click on the settings. And as you can see, I'm on the custom right now. Let me change to focus. So here I'm on a focus mode when everything is clean and plain and it lets you focus on what you're doing. Now let me go back and click on the settings, click on inspirational. As soon as I click inspirational, you can see that Microsoft has changed the background for me and it has picked the picture of the day. Then I go back my settings click on informational in here I have all my feeds my interests even my office 365 information is available when I click this button now the feature I like the most is custom so let me go back to focus so you can see the difference I'm going to custom here and here I would like to upload the picture that I want my students to see on that day of my lecture so I'm going to click on your own image and I'm going to click upload. And here I am picking the picture that I just created using my PowerPoint. So here you can see I have date, I have objective, I have what we did in last class, checklist, and the to-do list for my students. So I open my browser and I share my Edge browser and my students can see exactly what you see on the screen as soon as they log into my meetings. And if I want to clean it up further, I go back to my settings. Click on custom and I will make sure my quick links is turned off. And my content, which is right here in the bottom, which is right here in the bottom, I'm going to make sure that it is turned off as well so that when my students come to my class, they simply see the plain screen as soon as they log into the meeting. And again, you can go ahead and change the way your background looks. You can go ahead and change the way the content looks and make sure your browser is completely personalized for your needs. The top network attacks are browser attacks. Edge has incorporated a smart screening system that not only protects your browsing database, but also restricts the amount of information that has been collected while you're browsing. So let's go ahead and take a look at those browsing and privacy settings. To personalize your privacy and security, you scroll all the way to the top right hand corner, click on those three ellipses, scroll all the way down to settings, 
click on privacy search and services and here you have three different options and three different levels but if you're an educator like me who would like to browse every site and look for free apps or stuff for your students, then I highly recommend clicking on the balance because it not only stops or blocks the transfer of information, but also blocks your ads as well. And once you've done that, you can always take a look at your blocked trackers and websites. And in addition to this, this is what I do. I go all the way to the bottom and I check Microsoft Defender Smart Screen where it protects malicious sites and downloads on my Edge browser. And I also make sure I check block potential unwanted apps because if it's a low reputation app and it, I know it's going to crash my system, I want to make sure Microsoft wants me and does not download that for me. The next reason why I love using my Edge browser is because of the speed and performance. Edge browser uses less RAM and CPU and makes sure that my browser doesn't crash or shut down while I'm teaching the classes. Can you imagine something going wrong while you're teaching? And if you're an educator like me who is opening multiple tabs, then you might want to consider doing this. As you can see on the screen, my Edge browser is using almost zero to nothing CPU. Another reason why I love using my Edge browser is I can open any PDF document in Microsoft Edge, annotate it, save it, and send it to my students. This saves me so much time, and I do not need an extra app to do this. Let me show you how. So here I am on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and open two of my PDFs in Microsoft Edge. So right click, open with, and make sure you open it with the Edge browser. And let me go back here again, right click, open with Microsoft Edge. So what it does is no matter how many tabs you open, it's all under one main tab. So all you have to do with your students is simply share this one window. So let me show you the first one. So here is my chapter six that I want to do with my students today. I'm going to expand it so it's complete page view. and. If I choose to, I can go ahead and click my read aloud, but today I'm going to show you how to annotate. I'm going to click on the draw option here. I'm going to pick a red ink. I'm going to increase the thickness and I'm going to say this is very important. Make sure you click here and I'm just randomly writing something. Z is equal to X minus mu over standard deviation. Here is area to the left, here is area to the right. And if I have to highlight something, I will go ahead and highlight area is equal to probability, change the colors. So you have, I'm simply changing the colors. I'm gonna say very important. And once the, all the annotation is done, once I finish teaching my classes, all I have to do is click on save and make sure I save it as a PDF and send it to my students. Another variation of this is simply designing your PDF as a blackboard or as a whiteboard and using this to teach your class. How cool is that? You can customize this using PowerPoint. I leave a download link to this PDF in the description box below if you chose to use it. Here I'm going to pick a white color. I'm going to make sure I have a little bit more thickness. And today's objective is chapter 3.1. Homework problems are problem two, problem seven, and problem nine. And I'm going and annotating it, and it gives me the feel like I'm teaching on a blackboard. Probability of A or B is simply probability of A plus. So this is just an example of different ways you can use your Edge browser teach your class without going through multiple steps, opening multiple apps. It's like a one-stop shop. One of the strongest reasons why I use Edge Browser is because of Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is a free inbuilt tool embedded inside your Edge Browser that gives you a full reading experience. This tool helps students with print disabilities such as dyslexia, dysgraphia, vision impairment, or even sometimes hearing impairment. This tool is such a blessing and it has the power to empower every student. So here on my screen, I have a beautiful article on how to ask questions on, from medium.com. And I wanna go ahead and share this with my students and I wanna present this to my students. 
So let's go ahead and see how you can use Immersive Reader on this article. I'm going to click on this Immersive Reader all the way on the right top hand corner. And here I have an option to read aloud. And here you have an option to make it really slow, normal, or fast. In addition to that, you have an option to pick different languages from different countries. I'm going to go ahead and keep it to Mark from United States. And I'm going to close this option. And now let's go ahead and see the text preference. When you click on text preference, you can make your text medium. You can make your text large, as you can see. You can change the background if you're teaching in the night. Maybe you want to change the background to lighter color so it doesn't affect your eyes. You want to change it to complete black. You can do that. And here you have more themes. Pick the one that suits and customizes your needs. I'm going to make it too large and I'm going to make it a light color so it doesn't affect my eyes. And here you have your grammar tools. You can have your syllables. If you're an English teacher, nouns, verbs, adjectives. And here you have reading preferences. And if you're like me and if you would like to have one line at a time, then all you have to do is turn this on and make sure you have one line focus, two lines, three lines, or even picture dictionary. The best part is you can translate the entire document into a completely different language. I'm going to click here and change it to, let's say, something that I can read. Let me go ahead and pick my mother tongue, which is Telugu. And I'm going to say translate entire page. And there you have it. The entire page has been translated for me. And I can even take time to read, learn, and comprehend what I'm reading. Let me go back and change it to English. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. And I hope you saw how you can use Microsoft Edge browser to empower your students. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe. And if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need this Edge browser or even the Immersive Reader tool or PDF annotations to make their classes more accessible. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.